Hi and welcome to this Corporate Mars video on Best Buys. In this video we're going to look at how to find out which option is the best value for money if there's different options available to buy a product. So for instance if there's a product available in a regular size and a large size, how to work out which one's the best value for money. This is really useful that, you know, for instance, if you're going shopping and you see a regular container, a large container, a lot of people just assume that the large one's the best value for money. And it's useful to just double check and make sure that you're picking the one that is the best value for money. Now, there's two ways that I typically work this out. The first approach is to work out the cost per unit. So, for instance, if there were 10 pencils and they cost 90p, you could take the 90p and divide it by 10 and work out that each pencil costs 9p. And you could do that for the other option and then compare and see what, which one's the best value for money. And this approach also works if you're dealing with milliliters or grams or kilograms or liters. You can take the cost and divide it by the amount and you can work out the cost per unit. So for instance, if you were buying a drink, you could take the cost and divide it by the number of milliliters in the drink and you can work out the cost per milliliter and then you can compare the two drinks. And the second approach is to work out the cost for the same amount. So for instance, if we were buying donuts and there was a four pack of donuts and a six pack of donuts, what we could do is we could work out the cost to buy 12 donuts. So you could buy three packs of four and that's 12 and you could buy two packs of six and that's 12 and compare those prices and see which one's the best value for money. So these are two very useful techniques. Okay, let's have a look at some typical questions now. Okay, so let's have a look at our first question. So our first question says, packets of biscuits are sold in two sizes. And I were asked which packet is better value for money. So we've got a regular packet, which contains 12 biscuits, which costs £1.56. And there's a large packet of biscuits, which contains 36 and costs £4.86. Now, some people just assume that the large packet is better value for money. So let's have a look at this question and see which packet is indeed better value for money. So there's two approaches we can use. We could use our first approach, which is to find the cost per unit. And in this case, it'd be the cost per biscuit. And the second approach is to work out the cost for the same amount or the same number of biscuits by buying just regular packets and just large packets. Now, I'm going to do this question using both approaches. So we'll do the cost per biscuit to begin with, and then we'll use the cost for the same amount after that. So let's start off with the regular packet of biscuits. So with the regular packet of biscuits, the cost of that packet is £1.56, and we're going to divide that by 12 to find the cost for one biscuit. Now, I could write £1.56 in my calculator and divide by 12, but because I know that this is going to be in pence, whenever I divide £1.56 by 12, I know it's going to be in pence, I'm just going to change it to 156 pence, and I'm going to divide that by 12. So 156 divided by 12 is 13 pence. So that is 13 pence per biscuit. So in the regular packet, it's 13 pence per biscuit. For the large packet, the cost is £4.86, so that will be 486 pence. And we're going to divide that by 36 because there's 36 biscuits in the packet. And when we do that on our calculator, we get an answer of 13.5 pence per biscuit. Now, as you can see, in the regular packet, it's only 13 pence per biscuit, but in the large packet, it's 13.5 pence per biscuit. So the biscuits are cheaper in the regular packet, which means the regular packet is better value for money. And it's important that you write that down. So you write down the regular packet is better value for money. And that's it. OK, now let's use our second approach. So the second approach would be to buy the same number of biscuits. So we've got 12 biscuits in the regular packet and we've got 36 biscuits in the large packet. So we want to find a common multiple of 12 and 36. Now, what I actually notice here is if we multiply 12 by 3, we actually get 36. So if we buy three regular packets, that would be 36 biscuits. So if we buy three of these regular packets, we can then see the cost of that and then compare it to the cost of one of the large packets. So let's take the cost of the regular packet, which is £1.56, and we'll multiply that by three, and we'll find the cost of three packets of regular biscuits, which would be 36 biscuits. So three times six is 18, so put the eight down, carry the one. Three times five is 15, plus one is 16, put the six down, carry the one. And three times one is three plus one is four. So if we wanted to buy three packets of regular biscuits, it would cost four pounds sixty eight. And that would be thirty six biscuits. And the large packet, we get thirty six biscuits, but it actually costs more. It costs four pounds eighty six. So it's better value to buy three regular packets than it is to buy one large packet. So again, the regular packet is better value for money. And we'd write that down. So the regular packet is better value. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, a shop sells a brand of perfume in two different sizes. So we've got a small bottle of perfume and a large bottle of perfume. 
The small bottle contains 50 milliliters and costs £77.50, whereas the large bottle contains 75 milliliters of perfume and costs £114.75. And we're asked which one is better value for money. And again, we could use two approaches. We could find out the cost per unit or we could find the cost for the same amount. So let's do both. Let's start off by finding the cost per unit. So for the small bottle of perfume, it costs £77.50 and we get 50 milliliters. So let's, for our small bottle, take the cost which is £77.50 and let's divide it by 50 the number of milliliters how much you get and whenever you do that you find the cost per milliliter and whenever we divide £77.50 by 50 we get that's equal to £1.55 per milliliter so that means that each milliliter of perfume in this bottle costs £1.55 and in the large bottle if we take the cost of that large bottle which is £114.55 and 75 pence and we divide that by the number of milliliters which is 75 again we'll find the cost for one milliliter of perfume in this bottle so if we divide the total by the amount we're given the 75 we get that's equal to one pound 53 and as you can see the perfume in the large bottle only costs one pound 53 per milliliter whereas in the small bottle it costs one pound 55 per milliliter so that means that the large bottle is better value for money and we'd write that down so the large bottle is better value. Okay, now let's use the second approach. And the second approach is to find the cost for the same amount of perfume. So we've got 50 milliliters in the small bottle and we've got 75 milliliters in the large bottle. And what we wanna do is we wanna find a common multiple of 50 and 75. Now we could use any common multiple of 50 and 75 and compare the total prices of buying that amount of perfume by buying just the small bottles or the large bottles. I'm gonna find the lowest common multiple of 50 and 75 just so that I'm multiplying these two numbers by smaller quantities. So let's consider 50 milliliters so the multiples of 50 are 50 100 150 200 and so on and the multiples of 75 are 75 150 oh there we go so 150 is the lowest common multiple of 50 and 75 so we want to buy 150 milliliters of perfume by using just a small bottle which would be one two three bottles of it and we want to buy 150 milliliters of the perfume using the large bottle which would be two bottles of it and then if we can compare the prices we can see which one's better value to buy 150 milliliters and that would mean which one's better value for money overall so if we look at the small bottle that is 77 pound 50 and we're going to multiply that by three because we're going to buy three Three bottles of that and that would be three times zero which is zero three times five which is 15 put the five down carry the one three times seven which is 21 plus one is 22 and then three times seven which is 21 plus two is 23 so if we were to buy three small bottles of perfume it would cost 232 pound and 50 pence now with the large perfume we want to buy two bottles of that to buy 150 milliliters so 114 pound 75 pence multiplied by two and when we do that, we get two times five is 10, put the zero down, carry the one. Two times seven is 14, plus one is 15, put the five down, carry the one. Two times four is eight, plus one is nine. Two times one is two, and two times one is two. So it would only cost, it would cost 229 pound and 50 pence to buy 150 milliliters using the large bottles of perfume. Therefore, it's cheaper to buy the 150 milliliters using the large bottles than the small bottles. Therefore, the large bottle is better value for money. And again, we write that down. So the large bottle is better value for money. Okay, and our last question. Now, our last question, we've been told a shop sells bottles of water in two different sizes. So there's a large bottle of water, which is two liters for £1.22, and there's a small bottle of water, which is 330 milliliters for 27 pence. Now, I'm actually just gonna write 2,000 milliliters here, just because we have 330 milliliters here, and two liters would be 2,000 milliliters. And we've been asked to find which one is better value for money. Now, in this question, we could use both approaches. We could find the cost per unit, so in other words, the cost per milliliter, or we could find the cost for the same amount. Now, I'm only gonna do this question using the cost per milliliter, just because I don't really fancy trying to find common multiples or the lowest common multiple of 2,330. So it's a bit simpler in this question, and it's a calculator question just to find the cost per milliliter. So for the large bottle, the cost is 122 pence, so 122 pence, and we're going to divide that by 2,000 because we divide the cost by the amount. So we're gonna divide that by 2,000 to find the cost per milliliter. And 122 divided by 2,000 is 0 0.061 pence per milliliter. With the small bottle, the cost is 27 pence, and we divide that by the amount, which would be 330 milliliters. And when we do that, we get, that's equal to 
0.08181 and so on, pence per milliliter. And I'm actually just going to round this to three decimal places as well. And that would be 0.082 pence per milliliter to three decimal places. Okay, and we're asked to find which one is better value for money. So as you can see, the large bottle, each milliliter of water costs 0.061 pence, whereas in the smaller bottle, it costs more, it costs 0.082 pence per milliliter. So therefore, the large bottle of water is better value for money than the smaller bottle of water. So we write down the large bottle is better value for money. Okay.